the, two of the hardest burdens that human beings live with are fear and sadness. Fear and grief. Those are the two heaviest burdens that human beings live with in this life. As a matter of fact, when Allah sent Adam alayhi salam to the earth, He told him that when He gives His guidance, فَمَن تَبِعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Whoever follows my guidance, they're going to be able to combat fear and, and sadness, essentially. In other words, Allah knew that in the story of humanity from Adam alayhi salam to the last human being that's going to walk on this earth, every one of them is going to have to struggle with fear and they're going to have to struggle with sadness. Now what are these two things? Fear is about what's going to happen in the future. Fear is about am I going to lose my job? Is, is what's going to happen to mom? What's going to happen to my family? What's, what are they going to say? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen with my exam? What's going to happen with my immigration? What's going to happen with this and what's going to happen with that? These fears about what's going to happen in the next few hours or in the next few days or in the year from now or in the future, these fears are small and big and they're all the time, they're, they're a part of us. You're, you wake up afraid. You're, you're afraid you're going to be late to work. You know? You're afraid that you, you, know, you forgot about some task that you had to do or the time's running out. Small fears, big fears. But fear is a constant part of life. It's always there. And what you're afraid of, let's say a student is afraid of failing an exam. Up until the moments of the exam, there's fear, fear, the heart is pounding. And they take the exam. And then unfortunately, they get the result that they failed. And when they fail, there's no more fear. There's now sadness. I mean, there's fear of what your dad's going to do to you, but there's sadness mostly. Right? Now there's sadness about what happened already. So fear is about the future and sadness is about the past. What, what already took place in the past. And just because it's in the past, you don't get to tell someone, well, it's in the past, get over it. It's done now. You, can move, you should move on with your life. No, you and I are not in any position to tell anyone that they, are no, longer, they no longer have the right to feel sad anymore. Our Messenger وسلم, continued to feel the sadness of the absence of Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha for years, for years. Feeling sad is not a sign that you don't have enough faith. That's a, I mean, he has the greatest faith of all and yet he carries sadness. Yaqub alayhi salam lost his son Yusuf alayhi salam and he carries a great amount of sadness. So much so that he cries so much, ibiyadlat aynahu, his eyes turn white. His eyes turn white out of sadness. But that's part of, that doesn't mean he doesn't have faith in Allah. He doesn't ha actually have that. And as a matter of fact, he would only cry of his fear and uh, uh, cry of his grief and his sadness to Allah. 